Let's take a look at GPU tweak. Now this is some software that's packaged with the graphics card, it allows you to do some overclocking, monitor, it actually allows you to do a lot of things and it would be much easier just to walk through them than it would be to tell you everything right now. So as you can see here, you can overclock, uh, it's already clocked at 860, you can bring this up. Right now it is locked to the GPU voltage and that will bring the GPU voltage up accordingly. You can unlock this, I usually, uh, when I'm overclocking, I usually unlock it and just see what I can get away with uh, without having to um, raise the GPU voltage. If your game crashes or hangs, you probably um, needed a little bit more voltage. Raising the voltage will affect your thermals quite a bit. Raising the GPU clock will, but this will affect it a lot. Here you can bring up the memory clock, and this is the effective rate, so you can really uh, really push this. On these uh, AMD graphics cards, you can push this a lot, so it should be, it should be running you know, fine if you push it way up here. Now the fan speed, this is kind of interesting. You can do auto or manual, and manual you can just set it so that it constantly runs, or you can do user defined. And uh, let's just open that up here. So right here you can see it runs at 10% until we get to around 60 Celsius. But we can just bring that up over here and then say like, oh, all right, you know what? Once it gets to 90 and 100, yeah, that's hot. 100's hot. So let's um, add some more points in here. Just basically move it around and show you know where the fan goes, where the fan speed goes, uh, depending upon what the temperature is. Pretty simple stuff there. And you can also save all the profiles here. And uh, those are going to come in handy because there's also hotkeys. I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, 3D, this is really just for like pro overclockers. You can turn off the 2D clocks, turn it in 2D mode or 3D mode. So see how high of a clock speed you can get. Check out the live update here. We can update the BIOS, check for updates for the program. Checking it out right now. Oh, everything's up to date. Well, great. That's just wonderful. Settings. All right, you can set it to start with Windows and you know all kinds of things. Skins, remove skins, etc., etc. Tuning. Showing you guys what we have here. You can change the mouse sensitivity. That's a bit ridiculous. This is kind of cool because this allows you to have a benchmark program associated with GPU tweak. All you do is you uh, select here and you go and you pick your uh, you select your program, and then when you click this button here it will launch the application. I don't have any uh, programs selected to do the benchmark, but you can do that. It's pretty easy. Um, live update, of course, there it is. You can select how it, you know, live update functions. Now record is not enabled yet, but this is gonna be sort of like Fraps or, uh, you know, a program like that. You'll be able to record your video games. So this could be an interesting alternative to Fraps, but since this version is only 2.2.0.1, it's not available yet, but this is something that is expected for the future. Here are your hotkeys, and you can set these and configure these. You can use them to change profiles between the different ones that you've set or the preset ones. Uh, you can also use them to move the core clock up and the core clock down. So if you're in a game and you're like, man, I need a little bit more, a uh, little bit more speed, just uh, you know, use your core clock up. So a lot of fun things there. Let's move on down and take a look at uh, GPU info. This brings up GPU Z. If you've ever used CPU Z or CPU ID. It's pretty much the same thing, and this is pretty badass. Um, and if you have an NVIDIA card here, you can check out CUDA. I mean, it'll tell you what you have right here. We have OpenCL, uh, Direct Compute 5.0. So we have running an NVIDIA card. CUDA and PhysX would work. So this is really, really cool. Gives us all the information that we need. You want more settings? I think I heard you say you like settings. So let's click on this down here. And this is going to bring up all of our monitoring software here it's monitoring the temperatures and the fans and core clock it's just all kinds of things going on over here and that's configurable as well yep you can go in here and configure what you want it to monitor uh, and also let's say you want it to monitor a bunch of stuff but you don't want it to you know be this massive thing first off you can undock this there Ooh, look at that undock or redock it or i can go in here to my settings and let's say i want it to be nice and small so i click on the full widget there that's what we have. Uh, that's, that's what we have is a full skin. Let's click on the full widget. Apply. Oh, look, it's a cute little widget. Uh, we can put it over here and just monitor it. Put it on your secondary monitor, maybe, while you're playing a game. And then you can monitor thermals and fan speed, everything. The light widget is even smaller. Oh, look, at it. it's a wee thing. Look how small it is. No skin. Oh, my friend had no skin. He was in the hospital for quite a while. So if uh, you're someone who just wants to keep it simple, then you can do it that way. I'll keep it that way because it's uniform with everything else. And there you have it, a uh, new piece of software 
But uh, there's a lot going on here, and once they get the recording, uh, I'll be very curious to see exactly what it can do here. This is similar to a lot of the other programs out there like MSI Afterburner. Now, if you want a little overclocking tutorial, I'll tell you the best thing to do is to raise this a little at a time, like 25, 30 uh, megahertz at a time, and see if you can get away with it. If you need to, raise your uh, voltage. Raise it a little bit. This is, like I said, on these Radeon graphics cards, you can bring this up a lot. So yeah, there we brought it up a little bit. You know, I'm gonna bring it up, start it up 900. But yeah, just take it up a little bit at a time. And if it crashes, as long as your thermals were good, add a little bit more voltage and then bring it up a little bit more. And uh, you wanna make sure that your thermals stay in the 80s, if that's gonna be high. I like to keep mine in the 70s. A lot of times they're in the 60s, 70s. But if it starts getting into the high 80s, I know these things can go all the way up to 100, but I don't like them running too too hot. So 80s, if it gets close to 90, then I would start to back off a little bit. But uh, that's uh, that's just so you can play around, tweak a little bit, have fun.